What is up guys? It's your girl Jasmine Sade back with another video. So let's get into it. Okay, we're back to another session of meeting our mindset in this entrepreneurial lifestyle, okay? So, I really want to talk to you guys about productivity, okay? Staying productive. That is a very serious thing in every aspect of life because if you don't stay productive, what the Bible say? Idle hands or something like that? Idle hands, or people say idle hands are the devil's workshops. Either way, productivity is how you get to progress, and procrastination is how you feel in life. Procrastination gets you nowhere. Productivity gets you everywhere. Okay? So. Uh-oh. Y'all, today has been a long day. I've been working on grants left and right. I am tired. I still have four more grants to get submitted by Friday night. And it is kicking my butt. So, let's talk about, like, a few tips to help you stay productive, right? So, one thing that I think is important that you should start doing um, is making sure you take out time for your business. And I'm not saying, oh yeah, let's go give into your business. I know some people work full time for their business. Some people uh, start their business out of a side hustle and they allocate so many times a day, so many hours a day to it or so many hours a week. When I say take out time for your business, I mean, I want for you to sit out a block of time, whether that be I'm going to be nice. Whether it's 20 minutes a day, it's 45 minutes a day, or it's an hour. Every day, Monday through Friday, okay? Monday through Friday, set out anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Set out that time. Block out everything. Turn off your music. Excuse me. Turn off your cell phone or put everything on Do Not Disturb so that you're not bothered. And in that blocked out time, the minimum amount of time you should use is 20 minutes. In that blocked out time, focus nothing on focus on nothing else but your business. Okay, write down a goal list that you want to accomplish by the end of the month. You can write down goals that you want to achieve on a weekly basis. Things that need to be attached to it. If it's getting your EIN, if it's getting your LLC, if that is finding ways of, to get funding, is if there's ways of making new products or new services or looking for professional development tools. Take out that 20 minutes to an hour a day, Monday through Friday, and focus that on your business, okay? That is very important because this is the way, one, that helps you stay productive. Two, it keeps your business on your forefront. So that way, your business can go from being a side hustle, if that's where you started out, to being the, the, the dream that you that you require it to be, your full-time lifestyle, how you operate, what you love to do, right? And on that note, I just want to hit on this too. People love to say, the quote is... um. If you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. That is not true. That, in fact, is actually a lie. If you're doing what you love, all you do is work. It's nonstop, especially if you work for yourself. There's no such thing as a nine to five when you work for yourself. It's all day, every day, nonstop. It's always on your mind. At least that's how it is for me. And I love it. I don't care how tired I am. I love it. But anyway, make sure that you set out anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes a day and focus on your business. Allocate that time to your business, get rid of all distractions, and drill, hone in and drill down on what it is that you feel like you need to achieve, write down, and work on for that time slot. Okay? Keeps your business in your forefront, keeps you productive. Cool beans. Let's move on to number two. Number two, limit your distractions. Limit them. I'm not a person that tells you what to do and I'm not doing it. I feel like I got bit. I... And a person who I'm taking, I'm, I'm telling you straightforward, this is what I have to do. I manage at least 18 different social media accounts, okay? Not just my own. I have clients who social media accounts that I manage, okay? I manage social media accounts for my job. I'm constantly having to be on social media. However, I have alarm set up on my phone for when I need to post. Outside of that, my phone is down. I just noticed today that this was my first time actually getting on TikTok. And I... I'm very proud of myself because I used to be, when I get on TikTok, going a black hole. Now, three minutes, five minutes, tops my up, put this down, move on to the next. That's it, that's all. Limit your distractions. I was able to submit two and a half grants today. I say two and a half because I'm about to go finish one out. Two, knock out two grants today. I had three meetings sent. 
I don't know how many different emails and I have 13 email accounts. Okay. I, I knocked out everything on my to-do list except for three things, two of which are about to be done and completed before I go to bed tonight. God willing. So limit your distractions. If that means you have to put your phone on vibrate or put, put your phone on mute or whatever to get done what you need to get done, do that. It's okay not to have your phone out and about. Set your phone up to where it's only set for emergencies in case you have kids or your husband or a parent or whatever who needs to reach you. However, don't put yourself in an environment that limits your productivity. I mostly work from home. I have three offices. I have the office building where I rent an office space at, uh, from my salary job. I have my home office for where three of my six businesses function, four of my six businesses functions out of. And then I have my job my office at my nonprofit. I have my office at my nonprofit. And I rotate throughout those but I mainly spend my time at home. My biggest distraction at home is my dogs because they want to go outside every two minutes or they want to be rubbed on. They want this or they want that. I work hard to hone in here, especially when I'm having a Zoom call or a meeting with a client or a phone call with this and the third. Limit your distractions. Does that mean sometimes I, I, I daydream about Drugging my dogs. Yes. Would I do it? No, because I'm terrified. However, I have to find the best places for me. And if I don't feel like I'm being as productive as I need to be at home, then I have two more offices that I can choose from where I'm completely isolated. Queens? Queens. Number three, take breaks. It is perfectly fine to take breaks throughout the day. Okay? Sometimes you need it. You can't look at something all day and think you're going to have a fresh mindset about it because you're not. I spent all day yesterday doing grants and business plans. And I think web worked on the website. Either way, I began to get tired. And I just had to get up and walk away. Now me, I can't just go away for a very long period of time because I have so many things to do. And I have very little people who can help me do those things. So my breaks look a little different from other people. I'll tell you, take a five, ten minute break. If you need an hour break, go do that. But me, I would probably have to get up. I would walk to the bathroom, come back. That's a break for me. Go to the refrigerator, get me some applesauce or a, a pudding cup. I know I sound like a child. Or I fix me a plate of pickles, grab me a bottle of water, something like that, and I come back. Um, sometimes I like to have Noah's playing in the background. So if I need a break and I'm tired of just writing or looking at this computer screen, then I would stop. I would definitely uh, watch my Hulu Whatever it is that I need to watch on Hulu for about five minutes, then I get back to work. Take a break. Whatever that breaks looks like to you. If that means standing outside with Reese's and Coco, I would do that. If it means standing in the window just staring outside, I would do that. Take a five-minute power nap. Refresh your eyes. Just make sure you incorporate breaks throughout your day, especially if you're somebody who works in front of a computer screen, okay? Cool beans. Moving on. Oh, my favorite one. Because I have not been... uh medically diagnosed but i've been self-diagnosed and i'm really starting to think that i am ocd and adhd <laughs> but number four is staying organized i am a organizing freak okay everything is put into somewhere where i need right now i have a stack on my desk strictly focused on my salary job because i know i have to go take all of these to the post office tomorrow literally I have the stamp on, I have the return address on. The only thing I have to do is put the, the uh, what is it? The person's address on it. I literally have a fat stack of these babies that I have to send out, right? I have a program here for a partner that we have, so I have to share that information with people. Listen, I have my planner here that I have to go update because it has not been updated in about a month, even though all of my calendars on my devices are updated. Cool. Fact, fun fact, probably not cool to you because I'm a nerd, but it's something I like. Guess what I did? I purchased myself this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue and gold case. Look at it. It is gorgeous, right? And because I now have a business number and a business phone, I have matching cases. And look, they have these little, give me one second, these little finger hitch thingies that I can hold them. Yay me. Yeah, I know I do not like Apple phones. I do not like iPhones. I have an iMac. I have two MacBooks. I have an iPad. I do not like, I have two iPads. I do not like iPhones. However, 
my brother died. The phone is not paid off. So now it is my business phone. So if you receive a phone call from this number, it's going to say Jasmine Styles Enterprises for all of your needs. <laughs> Back on topic, staying organized, okay? If that means making you a to-do list. We were in Walmart, me and the girls, and my little cousin said, oh, you should get this. We got to speak into this in your wedding. It's this little to-do before I say I do. Yeah, I use this as a, a business to-do list. I And every day I'm ripping it off, starting a new to-do list. I said, I may not be getting married, but I'm going to use this for what I have to get done in a day. I literally have three notebooks sitting right here. I'm pretty sure you can see it. That has things jot down on it. Folks know what I need to do, right? Moving on. So the fifth thing, I'm going, it's going to be two things in one because one may not pertain to the other. So the fifth thing that you should focus on doing is, and this is a good way to keep you proactive as well and productive, is to delegate delegate and prioritize, okay? Delegate. I am not in a position where I can delegate a lot of my tasks. However, being the executive director of one organization where I am the only full-time employee, I can only delegate things that I do to certain members at certain times. When I have different programs running where I have to hire people, I can delegate to those jobs. I can always delegate to my board if I want the work done, I just have to do it myself. <laughs> I can delegate the, to them. It won't work. When it comes to my own nonprofit, I am the president. I'm responsible for a lot of things. I'm responsible for grant writing, starting the programs, creating the programs, writing the programs. I have to meet with the board, with the other board members. I have to meet with the executive board. I have to meet with the co-directors. I'm having to schedule interviews for so many various different things. Okay, so very little things with it i can delegate to now certain things i can delegate to uh, various board members which works out however that is not always the case when it comes to my business jasmine south consulting there's no one i can delegate to i have two people who i pay to do certain things but they are hired for specific things that is it that is all j styles fitness i can definitely delegate to my co-owner which is my brother however still certain things he does I do most of the things. All the things. I do the things. That's just what that is. Um, I am the head honcho, prima de Mario, Ucho Cinco. I'm just making up things. Um, of everything that I'm essentially involved in. Outside of the other boards that I sit on, what I, I pay in expertise. So, delegate when at all possible. However, I'm not going to hold you to it because I don't do it. <laughs> I try. I do it when I can't afford to do it, okay? And then I also said delegate and prioritize. Prioritize what is important. I'm a person with my to-do list is very, very lengthy. I could have 15 things that I need to get done in one day. And each one of those 15 things would take anywhere from an hour to three hours to do. So I understand how frustrating it can be to not complete your to-do list. Especially with me when I like seeing the check marks by the things. You know what I hate doing when I check off one thing and I add three more things to the list. Very much annoying. However, prioritize about what's important first. Things that have a deadline, go ahead and get those done first and out of the way. Things that don't take as much time, attack those. <sighs> that is my little spiel of how to stay productive as an entrepreneur, how to boss up yourself by being productive. Again, remember, procrastination leads to failure. Productivity leads to greatness, okay? You can say, oh, I procrastinate all the time. It does nothing for me. Exactly. It's doing nothing for you. Have you elevated? Exactly. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Come back for the next video. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.